Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to the channel. So I have brought to you another informative video. Uh, Department of Science and Technology, which is popularly called as DST, has again opened portal for its flagship uh, science communication program, which is um, augmenting writing skills for articulating research. It is popularly called as AFSR. Okay, now. Uh, what let me just give you a brief idea those of you who are not aware of what exactly do you need to do over here so let's let's say if you are a phd or a postdoc researcher um whatever research that you have carried out uh, till now till date you basically need to communicate you need to write it in a short format like in 1000 to 1500 words um in a simple language so that a layman can understand and you have to basically emphasize on how or why your research is important and you know in in what sense is it going to benefit public so basically in in, in simple terms you are communicating your research to the masses right you are basically trying to uh, help them understand that what is the importance of the research that you have been carrying out in your phd or your postdoc so, uh, okay so let me just tell you that why you should be writing those articles how it is going to benefit you uh, if i talk about the rewards that are that have been given uh, by department of science and technology they are quite lucrative so uh, first of all uh, in the number of entries that they receive they have classified into phd category and postdoc category right so if you are let's say a phd student and you apply and you send your article over here the top three articles will be given a price of one lakh fifty thousand and twenty five thousand so right and if you are in the postdoc category then one outstanding uh, article will be given a price of one lakh rupees and the uh, and the awardees will be um, awarded on the 20th february that is a national science day right apart from this apart from the top three and top uh, tops to uh, like the top article in the postdoc category and top three in the phd category uh, in the in the phd category again 100 entries so apart from these top three entries our uh, top 100 entries will be given a cash prize of 10000 rupees and in the postdoc category top 20 entries will also be given a, a cash prize of 10000 rupees so you can see that there's a significant uh, reward and the number of rewards are also also quite um quite quite good right um if i talk about the eligibility criteria so even uh, even though over here they have mentioned only a few things in the eligibility criteria but there's also one other important eligibility criteria that i'm going to quickly talk about so the first thing is that you should be a phd student uh, in science and technology so if you are from the social sciences or humanities background then you're not eligible right so either you could be a phd student or you could be a postdoc fellow right in a university or an r&d institute by r&d institute what they mean is basically drdo or csir any any research and development institute right um, and of course you need to be an indian citizen and apart from that you should not have won an award previously like for example let's say if you are, if you were awarded previously uh, in 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 let's say 2020 then you are not eligible to apply again in the same category that means that let's say at that point of time you were a phd student then you cannot again apply in a phd category if you have won previously okay if you haven't won then you can definitely apply the next year as well so let's say you applied in 2021 but you did not win anything so you can still apply in 2022 but if you have won previously in 2021 in the phd category then you cannot apply but let's say after 2021 in 2022 you became a postdoc fellow so now you will be applying in the postdoc category so then you can again apply so if you have one in phd category then you can apply in the postdoc category provided you are a postdoc right <laughs> that is obviously uh, i hope well understood uh, anyway and one important additional criteria that they did not mention is that uh, you should be a phd student from the last two years okay so that means if you are a phd student in the first year or the second year then you are not eligible to apply okay that is very very important in fact last year uh, i had also made a video when the portal for uh, this officer was uh, opened and a lot of students missed out this eligibility criteria and they still applied so you need to be a phd student for at least two years that is very very important if we talk about the selection criteria selection criteria is is quite straightforward uh, it says that the entries will be judged on the basis of accuracy clarity insightfulness fairness and resourcefulness so in short what they mean by that uh, is the, is obviously you are trying to explain your research to the masses to the common man so it has to be um, you know it has to be clear you ha also have to simplify your research but in the garb of simplification you cannot really compromise on the accuracy so you, you like if you are trying to explain a scientific principle you cannot really 
change the principle just because you have to simplify it right so it has to be accurate um and these are the four points that you need to address that is why does my research matter okay like i said what is its importance which is the second point uh, then why does it interest researchers why are researchers actively working in this area how is it going to benefit the common man or how is it going to interest or basically be beneficial for the reader right these are the points that you need to address uh, if you want uh, on the website i will just show you there are like in the previous winners or the previous entries that were received by dst uh, they have uh, given the pdfs of those entries so you can read and understand that you know how others have really articulated the research and get some idea and then write it in your own way um and a few other things uh, a, qu a a quick uh, let's have a quick glance so uh, this already i mentioned the third point is that no complex figures graphs and equations or formula should be should be included uh, some infographics if required you can add um the applicants are requested not to mention their name affiliation and contact details so uh, now you might be wondering then how would they know from whom this entry has been received so don't worry i'll just show you you have to go to the uh, department of science and technology portal and then you have to register yourself over there but when you are submitting the uh, do word document okay wherein you have written the article in that case don't mention your name or your affiliation okay so so that your article is evaluated in an unbiased manner then um, article submitted should carry a declaration just a small declaration you can say that the article is original and has not been previously published elsewhere okay so you can just write the same exact thing that the article that i'm submitting is original and has not been previously published elsewhere and just you need you you can sign it that's all okay nothing else in the declaration um and this is the format it should be around 1000 to 1500 words in the times new roman font okay and the uh, and the font size should be 12 and there should be a line spacing of 1.5 and you need to you need to write it and submit it in the ms word microsoft word okay and yeah that's about it so this is just uh, a few um, you can say metrics from 2021 so in 2021 1779 stories were submitted and there were 125 uh, awards given right so there's a good chance that if you write a if you write a uh, you know effective article um you would be awarded uh, so according to the twitter page of dst officer uh, the last date of submission of this of the stories is uh, 30th of august 2022 so you can start working on it you have a lot of time and you know um, maybe daily you can think about it you don't need to write it in a hurry just just take your time and you have to submit it by 30th august 2022 all right Okay so this is the uh, web page for the DST officer and all you need to do over here is click on this uh, story submission 2022 once you click on that you will be taken to this website uh, now over here all you need to do is sign up first you put in your details that is email first name last name and so on so on so forth and then after you have registered then you need to log in over here and submit your um uh, submit your entries okay uh, now if you click on after result 2021 over here the problem is that even though they have given the name of the awardees but unfortunately they have not given the entries okay that so like for example in the phd category these are the top 3 awardees but over here they have not you know shown the pdf of their submission so what you could do is i will give you a link to this uh, particular uh, uh, website wherein the result of uh, after uh, award 2020 is given and over here you can see the articles are also given so you can click on view over here and you can read this uh, person who was given the first uh, first prize right so uh, over here she belongs to the cdri that is central drug research institute and you can see her entry over here and you can get an idea like i said on how you need to write so i'll give you the link to this uh, page as well Also please do not forget to share this video with your fellow phd students and postdoc fellows because uh, well this is a very good opportunity to be creative and when you think about your research on how it is going to impact the common man you tend to you know be more um proud of what you are doing and you are more motivated to do whatever you are like in whichever domain you are you know pursuing research so so this is uh, like i said a, a fantastic opportunity to be uh, to be creative and to be able to communicate your research um to communicate your emotions to the masses so take this opportunity and like i said 
do not forget to share and like this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video very soon hey guys so i'm a verified educator on an academy and along with that i'm also available on the unacademy plus platform where i'm taking live classes along with other educators so in case you're interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you're not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right